Okay, I'm back again. So as you can see, it says L023. It was supposed to be 15 minutes, but I got busy doing laundry. So um, the pot has released, the um, little tivet, I call it, is down. So you open it up. Oh my gosh, I wish you could smell this. And set that aside. I don't know if you know, but on the pot, there's these little handles on both sides. Show you this one. And you can set your lid there. So I'm gonna do the other side so that doesn't block the view. Okay, one, it smells amazing. So I'm gonna attempt to get as much chicken out into a bowl and then I'm gonna strain all the broth into a bigger Tupperware then put it back in the pot with carrots and celery for just about 10 minutes. So, I mean, sir, it's probably gonna all fall apart, which actually it is, but I mean, look at that. Seriously, it's amazing. Um, so again, I'm gonna take some of this chicken and I'm gonna, you know, not dice it, but I, I might just leave the breast as much intact as possible. Then I'm gonna take some of the extra that I have in here or the ones that have already fallen apart and I'm going to make a chicken marsala with an angel hair pasta tonight. Um, but you guys, I mean, it's literally falling apart and the, some of these breasts were frozen. Um, the broth smells amazing. Um, so stay tuned and I will be doing the straining and then adding everything back in. Okay, see you soon. All right, guys, so I've taken all of my chicken and for all of you that think the Instant Pot's like a slow cooker, it can only do one thing, that's so wrong. So what I have here now is sliced, not shredded, chicken that I'm gonna ladle a little bit of the soup broth over and I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator and it'll be nice and tender and juicy for dinner. So set that aside. And then the last piece is this. So you've got all of your broth, quite a bit, and chickens in it, obviously. Put that back in the pot with all of the chicken. And then I have diced up celery, carrots, and white onion. So put that in. And because it's the Instant Pot, I can now get the lid on, set it to ceiling, manual, go way down. Everything is cooked but this carrots and celery and onion. That should be more than, we'll say, seven seconds. Okay, last but not least, I will send you a picture of the finished soup and then um, like my YouTube page, Jack's Pot. And good, have a good day.